Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In this episode we'll be talking about this. This is my data storage solution. It is a hard drive enclosure uh, that has five bays for uh, hard drives. Um, each can take up to, I believe, 18 terabyte hard drive, uh, but I've just got 14s in it because they were the most cost effective uh, solution. This is this looks similar to a NAS, um, and NASs have a pretty similar use case. Uh, but this is not a NAS. Uh, this is so NAS. If you don't know, is uh, stands for Network Attached Storage, and it's basically one of these uh, multiple hard drive bays that attaches to your local area network, uh, and you can uh, access it by any computer on that network or um, via internet connection. Uh, you can FTP files off it as well. Uh, but this is not a uh, NAS, this is actually just a storage device uh, that combines multiple hard drives into one cable and sends it to your computer. So a bit easier to set up than a NAS. Um, ah, let's turn that one around. So as you can see here, we've got one USB type cable that goes out and then into the computer by a USB-A or USB-C cable and then you've just got a normal kettle um, jack there for power and a power switch on the back. So this is what I ended up store all my footage in and because 14 terabyte hard drives seem to be the cheapest way to go um, it'll be 14s in all of them eventually. At the moment I've just got one 14 terabyte drive and then the rest are filled with old drives uh, just to consolidate everything down but also to be cost effective uh, use older drives while I don't need quite as much storage capacity. This is not just for capacity, so I particularly bought this because I was sick of plugging in uh, individual hard drives um, and trying to find footage across them. But this one, plug it in with one single cable, power it up, all the drives in here pop up, so it's easier to find everything with one switch and one cable. It was a huge pet peeve for me having to plug in lots of small hard drives and trying to find footage across multiple projects, multiple years uh, for clients. This streamlines everything considerably. So if I'm working for a client again and maybe I think, oh, some of their old footage could fit in here really well, um, instead of digging through like five different hard drives for that client, I can go here, go to that client, and the footage is there. Super easy to find. This also has a huge capacity if you're putting 18 terabyte drives in each of the bays. So if you're looking to get one of these yourself, uh, these are an older generation uh, that go to USB 3 uh, as their max speed, uh, which is enough for me. Uh, but if you're after something that can comfortably do uh, 4K footage and uh, 6K, etc., you might want to look at uh, generations that are newer than this that have Thunderbolt compatibility. So a few years ago I tried to solve this problem by buying a NAS and it was like a two bay, eight terabyte each bay type NAS and it was okay. Uh, I didn't find it the most user friendly to use and the most reliable to continually access um, but many other people find NASs to be awesome. Uh, I think it was just my user errors and my computer literacy that was holding me up there. Um, but if you're, say, not the most computer literate person and you just want something simple, um, this is a good other option uh, because essentially it's just like plugging in one cable for an external hard drive and they all just pop up. Uh, there's very little in the way of setup or drivers. This is just one big external hard drive type thing. So that can make it a lot more user friendly to people and more accessible to people like me who may not be super up with the tech. Obviously the upsides of a NAS is that you can access it anywhere that you've got an internet connection if you've got that set up and you can also access it anywhere in the house by multiple computers. This one is designed to be accessed by one computer at a time and the computer sort of has to be next to it, you know, within cable distance. So this is a relatively premium product. You can tell by the glass, the aluminium, and someone's definitely tried to make it look like a uh, well-designed Apple-esque type look. 
but there are cheaper options out there that do exactly the same thing as this that don't look as pretty. Uh, there's rack mounted things and all sorts of other things that are nice and durable, do exactly the same thing as this. Uh, so if you're on a bit of a budget, understandable. Uh, this is quite an expensive product for what it is. But I thought I'd splurge a little because it's going to be sitting on top of my desk and I kind of want my desks out to look kind of nice. So just in case anybody is wondering what type of drives this takes, it takes three and a half inch drives, two and a half inch drives, it takes SSDs as well. Uh, it doesn't take your NVMe uh, M.2 type drives unless you've got a SSD hard drive adapter type thing. So it's more for your uh, typical SATA hard drives. The one thing I have noticed about it, if you're concerned about fan noise, if you want like a really quiet working environment, uh, this kind of has a noisy fan. Not super annoying, but you definitely hear it if it's on the desk next to you. Uh, whereas they advertise it as having a silent fan, uh, but it's definitely not silent. And for the amount of heat that this generates, which is barely any, um, I would have considered there to be a quieter fan option. I may have got a dud, but just something to be aware of. Otherwise, I'm very happy with this. It suits my needs perfectly and uh, will be great to store my footage into the future. Uh, so if you've got an archive footage set up or a preferred way of storing your footage, uh, drop a comment down below. Love to know other people's methods. This is the one that I've found that works for me, but in the future, who knows, I might adapt and change to something else. If you've got any comments uh, or questions about this one, drop it down below. Uh, I've been using it for four months now, so I've got a general idea of how it goes. If you like the video and it was good to see another perspective on archive footage storage, uh, go ahead and drop a like. And you can also subscribe if you'd like. I've got more videos coming out this year. So until next time, I'll see you then.